I come before you today to remind us of the power of united praise, united praise unto God. So often we fail to realize that our sincere praise together unleashes a supernatural essence that no wickedness can withstand. Such is why this ministry, this online ministry, and others that our church has launched is so important. We must praise. These troubled times that we're living in try to separate us, discourage, even destroy us. But I encourage us to remember David's words of Psalm 9, verses 1 to 20. And my encouragement message today, God never forgets the humble. Let me, let me share some of those verses of Psalm 9, 1 to 20. A Psalm of David, I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all of your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging in righteousness. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. He shall judge the world in righteousness and he shall administer judgment for the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Sing praises to the Lord. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the people. When he avenges blood, he remembers them. He does not forget the humble. The nations have sunk down into the pit which they made, in the net which they hid. Their own foot is caught. The Lord is known by the judgment. He executes the wicked. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. Arise, O Lord, arise and do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. The word of God for the people of God. May God move in our lives in his most mighty supernatural power the way he sees fit. Amen.